one of the interesting things about jQuery mobile is that we can have a single page represent multiple pages on the mobile website. So here's an example. I have a single page I've called mobile samples.html. And on it, I have my first page. And you notice up on my title bar, I can have it called first page. If I click on two, notice I'm still on mobile samples.html, but my title bar now specifies two. You can see that I've even changed themes between theme A and theme B of the default theme that comes with jQuery mobile. And when I click on the button for link three in my nav bar, you'll notice that it automatically takes me to the third section. Once again, my page is the same. However, my theme has changed as has my title. So here's my HTML page that I've created. Notice that my title is jQuery mobile test. I link in my external CSS as well as my jQuery and jQuery mobile JavaScript files. But in my body, you'll notice I have a div with a data role of page. And this is how we group and separate out our multiple pages inside of a single physical page. We can specify a data theme as well as add an ID. Now the ID is necessary because this is how we'll reference it inside of our nav bar. And if you look at our nav bar, you can see that we have a series of links. Each one references the name of an ID of one of the divs that is being used as a page. Now for our data title, you'll notice that we have put in the title that we want to display for our individual page that we've created based on this data role that we're using. If I go to page two, you notice once again, I have another div with a data dash role of page. Here I specify my theme of B, a different ID that we uniquely identify as well as the data dash title to specify what we want our page tile to show. jQuery mobile handles all this information for us automatically by looking for these specific attributes with these specific values. So the key thing is to make sure your each page is wrapped inside of a data dash role page. We specify the theme that we want for that individual page, knowing that each page can have a different theme if we really wanted it to. We use the IDs so we can identify our links that we can click on inside of our nav bars. And we use data dash title to specify the title that we want to display inside of our browser window. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please like and share it with others. If you want to keep up with other videos that are coming out, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. That way, you can get the most up-to-date information.